Hey there, welcome back to our Massilia to Numidia campaign. In the previous episode, we just helped our allies over here deal with their wars. A couple of little minor wars that basically just, if without our intervention, they were probably doomed to deal with for like decades. So we obviously didn't want that. We're still technically helping uh, Rome with their war. I mean, we're not doing anything, obviously, because Rome doesn't really need our help. And uh, yeah, they're expanding rather rapidly. They're looking pretty strong. And we're still in a phase of lowering our aggressive expansion. It's not too bad right now. And it's going down at a decent pace. Um, I might not wait too long for to going after these guys. As we can see, Carthage does have a claim on these guys. So Carthage could go after them at any point. Um, Carthage is currently losing a war against Syracuse right now. That's still going on. I think that started last episode. And, you know, I was kind of thinking about it. And even though I typically like to wait until we get up to 200 mil experience for that morale of armies bonus, since, since we do have this right now, we do have 80, I might go ahead and just take this right now and get the free province investments. That sounds really nice. It'd be nice to get some extra trade routes to our... Um, capital i think so i'm going to take this right now this is going to increase uh tribesman output and uh tribesman happiness throughout our entire nation so that's really nice and tribesmen obviously we're still at a point where tribesmen make the bulk of our population so in the meantime you know i guess i should probably send these mercenaries up to deal with these barbarians they're currently doing that and if we look at our culture here uh, the Massacillian culture is not too uh, unhappy right now. They're not too disloyal. So what I might do, um, I might found a colony in them in, in one of their in uh, territories because they we do have a chunk of uh, population from them. So I might do this. This will have a bunch of our uh, pops move into their territory. So we're going to be moving a bunch of pops into Sega here so how many are they going to get like a bunch of slaves and some citizens and some nobles that goes up to 14 that's pretty nice i wonder if that's going to make this pro yeah this loyal this province is actually going to revolt now because of that but that's okay actually maybe i'll have you guys no you know what go deal with the barbarians right now and yeah these guys are going to lead an independence war against us but that's fine they're the only province in this territory uh, among the Massacillian population that is disloyal, really. Like, some of these are mostly fine. Mainly because we've been converting population, but also it's just most... They're all of our religions. So this is a little annoying right here, but we're gonna, we're gonna deal with these barbarians first. It looks like it, though it does look like they are fighting some guys up here and winning. And these guys are gonna move in there as well. And also, they're going to lose to the Barbarians. Uh, our mercs are coming in here. Maybe I will have you guys, this 1,000, 1,500. Oh, this is another... Is this another of the events that we just got from before? I think this is. I think this is the exact same event. Okay, I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen twice. So that's a little weird. I guess I'll take it. Um... But that's a little strange to see it twice. I've never seen that event before, and it just popped up there again. The Barbarians are lowering our Civ value over here. But they are adding Pops to the place. Not a terrible trade-off. We do see... Yeah, we do see some enemy soldiers moving along here. I might have to raise some levies, or I'll just send these guys in and take this back. But I think in the long run, it will be worth it just to have that, like, once we get some of our pops in here, this place will start converting to our pop or our um, culture much quicker. It looks like the barbarians have either, I think they've moved into Carthage, Carthaginian territory. So we'll send them over here, I guess. Or do we have to send you over here? We'll send you over there. So we do see our levies coming in here. And uh, let's see, is Carthage still at war? Yeah, they're, they're actually making some sort of progress there, which is a little troubling. I'd like to see them get held back. Uh, our guys were very close to engaging theirs. I might try to avoid combat for now. It does look like they're trying to move past us here. Maybe I'll try to fight the... Oh, no, 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 that's a bad idea. Okay. 
How many do they have here? It looks like they've got about 4,000 in total. So I'm going to just move over here, take this back. Our mercenaries are moving over here. I'll have these guys move over here as well. Oh, they're actually trying to fight us, and they might win this, actually. They just moved in, but they does look like they have the uh, formation bonus on us, unfortunately. And they are reinforcing it. Maybe we can win this? It looks like we might still, actually. It's a nice little victory right there. We actually didn't lose that much at all. And they lost almost one and a half thousand there. So that's a nice little victory right there. We're just going to have to siege back some territory. And as soon as we're done with this, I think I'm probably going to move into Gazantia right away. As soon as we can, really. Because, yeah, Carthage has a claim on them. And I'm guessing Carthage is... You know, they, they might try to rest up after they're done this war, I would hope. But we said the same thing about Rome, and Rome just basically went nuts. Uh, we're going to get the stability here in this event and lose a little bit of political influence, but that's fine. I'll take the stability. As we are going to take back some of our land over here and siege some of theirs. We're going to take back Siga over here. And maybe I'll have these guys yet. Yeah, why don't you guys go in here? And we're going to take this back over here, and then maybe I'll start a siege over here in Luku. We could call our allies in. We could call in McKay, but I don't think it's necessary. Speaking of which, I might want to form new allies, because at some point, since we border these guys now, I might want to think about dissolving this alliance. So, I think we said the same thing last episode. Why don't I go to Egypt? Your opinion of us is mostly affected by aggressive expansion. And, yeah, minus 207 for a possible alliance. They're not into that idea. Syracuse, you're actually now fighting Rome as well as Carthage. Okay, so Syracuse is screwed. They're absolutely screwed. Uh, maybe there's one of the Italian, or not Italian, uh, Iberian nations here, like Kesatania, minus 97, Basconia. Well, I'd like to form some more allies, but there's not too many that look that promising. Uh, we could become friends with the, with our allies, ruler or we could just say we don't need their friendship and gain the popularity i mean we really don't need their friendship since we are planning on uh breaking their alliance and our leader is now got dementia so that's not a good sign for him he's 68 and he may be nearing the end we do see we actually have engaged the enemy over here this is not an ideal fight i was not paying attention and we're probably going to lose this since they are reinforcing yeah, this is probably not going to be... This is not going to go well. So I'm going to reinforce maybe uh, over here for now. So we lost as many as they did. So at the very least, we're hurting their numbers. And you know what would help with this siege, actually, if we had some ships. So maybe I can start going over here and build like a few. Just like some triremes, maybe. Where can I build? Um... Ooh, I could go for the stability here. A, peti a petitioner approaches. This guy is uh, coming for us or coming to us. It looks like he's a little worried about stuff. Um, <laughs> I could just take the money. I think I already have the cruel trait. Yeah, so this wouldn't that would negate that. But uh, I might just go for the stability. To be honest, I really want the stability more than the money. Rome wants our help again. Really? Who are you at war with now? Hipponian. These guys. Which guys? These guys. You want my help with them? Fine. It was really annoying. I mean, Rome is crazy aggressive. So this siege might take a little while. Did we start? I don't know if we did. I think Rome interrupted us there, or that event interrupted us. So why don't I build five for now? That might be enough. How many ships did they, they don't have any ships? 
So I would imagine these guys are probably starting to move back through our territory over here. Uh, would it make sense to raise more levies? When can I do that again? Well, these guys are already raised. That's right. Okay. So we can't do that right now because the levy is already technically raised. So we're going to have to lower them if we want to raise our full strength. Which Rome is making this harder and harder to do. <laughs> the moment I raise my levies, Rome has, you know, they just go into like five different wars. That was a very nice roll right there. If we can see, if we can get a breach, I wouldn't mind assaulting the fortress. I'm just going to have these guys rest up over here and just drain our manpower for now. What little of it that we have. The mercenaries, you guys are not good at sieging, but we need you to do that right now. Hopefully, hopefully they don't run out of food. The other guys here, they're almost, yeah, they don't have a lot of resources either. They're down to three. So the first techs we get are definitely going to be mil techs. We need to buff up our military just to get that discipline, but also just to get some more supply. The supplies is brutal right now. Now, there's no sign of enemy troops, so they're not moving around, it, does, it doesn't seem. Maybe they're hurting for manpower either, too, or, or rather, they only have 69 pops in total. Still no breach. We can get a breach, it would be really, really nice. I don't want to just throw troops at the wall. Let's see, is this trireme? No, it's not quite ready. But that should help with the blockade. Rome is fighting how they're fight oh they're fighting that's the war. Okay, so Syracuse is fighting them not directly, they're fighting them through their allies. But I wouldn't be surprised if Rome takes all of this in one war, in one quick go. Which would be bad for Carthage. And yeah, just as I feared, it looks like our mercenaries are now struggling. But they did win that siege, which is nice. We do see enemy troops moving along here. Why don't you guys come over here and take this? Maybe you guys can come along, move over here, take this. I'm going to raise some more troops, I think. Maybe over here. And we will raise 2,000, and they'll go over here and assist with that siege. Someone is asking for military access. That would be our... Oh, these guys who are fighting an independence war against Carthage, I guess. Yeah, I guess I'll help you with that. That's fine. Uh, we do need to hire a commander for this navy. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter too much right now. I guess I'll go with you. And if we have a scorned family at some point, maybe I'll replace him. So these guys, I'm going to have you guys come back into our territory over here. And we're going to have our levies try to take down the rest of this over here. Our levies do not have a lot of supply, of course. So this is going to be a tough siege. These guys have a little bit more. About as much as the mercenaries do. But we just want to get this over with, really. And hopefully Rome can finish their war quick enough so that we can lower our levies. Because I would like to take our remaining... Ooh, we did just engage the enemy here. Our mercenaries are reinforcing. Hopefully fast enough. Let's see, they're going to be over here in... How many days? In about two days. And now it's going to take you... Another six days to get there. Hopefully our levies can last another six days. It's doubtful. We'll see. It doesn't look like they will. We're probably going to lose this fight. We did not get stack wiped at the very least. But hopefully our mercenaries can finish these guys off. Let's see if we stack wipe them. I doubt we will though. And we're having more barbarians siege our lands now. We did not stack wipe them at all. In fact, that wasn't a very great battle at all to be honest with you. Uh, you guys are still sieging this down. 
I'll probably have my mercenaries come over here and just reinforce these guys. Where are these barbarians attacking us? Over here, it looks like. I'm going to just ignore that. I'm not going to deal with that right now. You guys come over here. I'm not sure why you're going that way. That doesn't seem like the faster way to me. Uh, inspirational neighbor. Ooh, what is going on here? Our interactions with our neighbor, Massacilia, has shown us how their bureaucracy and administration work and what ways it, it differs to our own. By introducing some of their customs into our systems, we are certain to be able to centralize authority and have more control over our clan chiefs. A group opposing these changes changes are led by Gada Galid and as it seems he and his followers know how it would affect their authority if the changes were to be brought into Massilia. Hmm. We could, yeah, we could increase our centralization a little bit faster for the next 60 months or we could lose half uh, centralization and gain a little, bit, a little bit of loyalty with this guy if we wanted to keep his loyalty. He's not particularly powerful. Um... P.I. is a little precious right now. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll just do the, go ahead and do this. Why not? I think it'll be fine. So we're on the verge of winning this little annoying little pro provincial war right here. This little rebellion. And then after that, hopefully we can either lower our levies or we'll just send them over here. And fight these guys sooner rather than later. Because Carthage... I don't know when this war is going to end for Carthage. But I'm not going to take any chances with these guys. Our aggressive expansion, because of those two events... Or the one event that happened twice... You know, that really helped with our aggressive expansion. It's almost like just not even an issue at this point. So they've started a siege over here. Maybe I'll go fight them over here with my mercs. If you can. For some reason you're not moving. Is it because we don't have this right here? That's odd. Maybe we can ask for mill access? No, you guys are not willing. Because you're Carthage. You guys hate us. Fair enough. Well, we'll probably win this siege before they do. Though, you know, I've seen crazier things happen with uh, AI sieges. They tend to go very, very quickly. Let's see what's going on with these barbarians. We do see them over here. Being really annoying. Carthage. Is this... Uh, who are they fighting? These guys, right. So they, they're they at two different wars right now. So we did win this siege, I believe. Now, why is this not flipping over? It should flip over, I believe. Well, why don't you guys go in there? There we go, finally. These should be uh, flipping over, I believe. Okay, yes, I get it. The barbarians are hitting me. Why don't you guys just wait for a second? Because we need you to get reinforced. Otherwise, you'll probably get stack wiped. You guys... It says that we'll catch them over here. You guys will be over here in March 4th. We're going to get there March 1st, t February 28th. Okay, we should be able to win them over here. Or at least part of their forces. That should be a stack wipe, and it is, and I believe they are finally starting to, the provinces are finally starting to uh, flip over, looks like, so we should be able to end this. Okay, so I will, we will take all of it, thank you very much. I will, yeah, I will imprison their leaders, actually, and make a little bit of money that way. I'm going to delete some of these forts. Like so. We don't need that. And maybe I'll hold on to that one. And for now, we'll have you guys... Or not the ship, sorry. You guys come over here. And maybe I'll just ignore the uh, the barbarians, to be honest. And we should probably sync these two up. Combine them. This will be our tiny, tiny little fleet. So, the Barbarians are now down to only 500. So, they'll probably just take... They'll, they'll siege one more province and they'll just disappear. So, I might put a cut in here in a little bit. I might start the war against Gazantia and maybe put a cut into there. 
Let's see what's going on with Rome. It looks like Rome has completely overrun Sicily here without my help, obviously. Holy crap, they've got a lot of troops. They've got like 40,000 troops. That's terrifying. And the barbarians have taken their last province. They've settled in here, which is fine. Uh, Comet sighted a terrifying thunderclap over the skies of Kirta uh, last night, heralded a terrifying, awe inspiring sight. The very fabric of creation seemed rent asunder by flame and smoke as if by the god of the sky himself. People cowered in their homes, seeking to avoid the, the certainty of the imminent wrath of the divine. Almost soon as this manifestation had appeared, however, it crept away over the horizon, seeming to settle in the territory of our neighbor, Rusidir. Oh, good. In haste, the resident expert in matters of faith was summoned to explain this mystery. According to Naravas, this event can only have been a message sent by the god of the sky, intended to legitimize our position as the chosen people. I agree with that. Naravas insists that the god of the sky must have ha made a minor miscalculation when he sent this message into the lands of our Rusadiran neighbors, and that we must do all in our power to possess the city of Rus Ad Rush Adir, where the divine communique must have landed. Uh, we're going to get 10 stability, and uh, we're going to get, I think, a claim on Rush Adir. Okay, that's pretty sweet. What do I want to do with this stability? Uh, maybe I want to pass another law. Like, I could go over here into infrastructure tenants, or we could maybe start handing out some privileges to make some of our population a little bit happier. That might be worth it. But maybe I'll go over here, and i kind of looking at the Hillford initiative here. That's going to cost 35 PI, but we're going to get tribesman bonus plus 12%, which is really nice. National tribesman bonus plus 12%. And our centralization is going to go way up for that. So I think this is going to be worth it. I'm going to do that right now. That's basically, that's almost free in terms of the stability cost. Uh, I thought I told you guys to merge. No, I didn't. I, I Technically, I guess. Okay. So we'll do that. And you guys are head over here. I'm probably not going to go after these guys right now. Like I said, I would rather target Gizantia. This is just a nice chunk of territory. 113 pops I'd like for myself. I'm not going to go after the bear hunt, even though this guy... Yeah, this guy doesn't have particularly high martial. Um, I'm just going to say it's too dangerous. I'm going to hold on to him for now. So we're going to move our guys into Gizantia. We're going to get ready for war over there. Since our stability has just been risen and our aggressive expansion has been dropped uh just from some really nice event uh another ruler of our starting dynasty over here it has been born so that's fine i guess i'm not going to pay too much close i'm not going to play uh too close attention to that for now since we are a tribe though at some point like i said i should probably prioritize bloodlines again I should do that, but I'm just going to get these guys into position here and then maybe put a pause in it for now and call it an episode. And then next episode, yeah, we're going to conquer Gizant uh, yeah, Gizantia. And Carthage is now technically winning its fight against Syracuse, but at the very least, they're, they're distracted from these guys. So we're going to just put these guys into position here. 6,000 should about do this unbelievable wrong. You know, okay, no, before I do, before I do, I'm going to lower my levies, finally. And I believe that just has the, the mercenaries who, for some reason, are not moving. So maybe I'll do that. And I am going to accept this invitation to another war with Rome. Who are they after now? Lingonia. These guys are over in the northern parts of Italy. Okay, well, they're all at, they're at the verge of taking the Venetians as well. All right, well, you know what? I'm going to put a cut in here for now. Uh, this has been an okay little episode. We founded a colony in our uh, the second most populated uh, culture group in our, in our empire. So this should increase our assimilation of them for a little bit at the cost of a little bit of happiness, understandably. And we had to deal with a little bit of an upstart rebellion, which was a little annoying. And also, yeah, Rome is just making it difficult for us to lower our levies ever. Uh, but next episode, we're going to expand into Gazantia, maybe even follow up with that event as well. And uh, yeah, for now, I'm going to put a cut in here, and I will uh, see you on the next one. Take care.